State Department releases 2021 International Religious Freedom Report, Extreme Religious Persecution in North Korea. In its released report on June 2nd, the State Department introduced 10 countries of particular concern, including North Korea, China, and Russia, in the 2021 International Religious Freedom Report. The report mentioned that North Korea has been designated as a country of particular concern for 20 years since 2001. It emphasized that the U.S. government raised concerns about religious freedom in the country in other multilateral forums and bilateral discussions with other governments, particularly those with diplomatic relations with the country. It also cited a UN Special Rapporteur on Human Rights Report issued in October last year that the exercise of freedom of religion in the country was nearly impossible, and the government subjected religious believers to execution, arrest, and torture. The State Department stated that the U.S. government co-sponsored the resolution on North Korean human rights adopted at the UN General Assembly in December of last year. The report referred to Open Doors USA and the British NGO Korea Future when it noted that the U.S. government expressed very serious concern about abuses, including imposition of the death penalty for religious reasons and restrictions on the freedoms of conscience and religion or belief. According to the report, Open Doors USA estimated that 50,000 to 70,000 citizens are held in prison for being Christian, and being discovered as a Christian is a death sentence in North Korea. The State Department also mentioned a report released in October last year by Korea Future, a British human rights organization for North Korea. It stated that people practicing other religions besides Christianity, such as shamanism and Cheong Dogyo, were persecuted and subject to arrest, detention, forced labor, torture, denial of fair trial, deportation, denial of right to life, and sexual violence. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said that the United States will continue to stand up for religious freedom around the world. He also added that he will keep working alongside other governments, multilateral organizations, and civil society to do so, including next month at the United Kingdom's Ministerial to Advance Religious Freedom.